know, sometimes I look at the difference in fly rails, the sizes of them, and I can't get over the differences in their design and just the physical arbor size. These are used for, you know, big northern pike here at Wilderness North, and these are actually used for giant brook trout. And the brook trout that are here are absolutely huge. Awesome. They're unlike anything I've seen before. I was here last year and I was fortunate enough to actually catch a couple that were over five and I lost a giant that was much bigger than that. So they are here, they are plentiful, and they are rarely fished. So if you do come and target wild native Ontario brook trout with Wilderness North, what kind of flies should you bring? Well, that's a great question. And here are three or four of the top producing flies for these wonderful jewels of the North, depending on time of year, of course. So come prepared, water temperatures change all the time. You can't go wrong subsurface swinging flies. And whether you're swinging woolly buggers, such as this, white zonkers, such as this, you know, or bait fish imitations, such as this, having the right weight to get down in those pools is key. So bring along some split shot or have an intermediate sinking line as well. Um, there are gonna be times this summer, during the summer, when uh, you'll be able to take them on dry flies too. So a number of caddis, mayfly, elk hair caddis flies, um, olive duns, uh, things like that are gonna be deadly on surface. Also subsurface, use a, a surface fly as a, as a point fly and then use a nymph or a stone fly as a dropper. Now the great thing about the growth season here up north in Northern Ontario is that it's small. It's a short window. So if these brook trout ever get an opportunity to take a high protein meal, they're gonna jump all over it. And I'm here to tell you, there is nothing quite like seeing a five pound brook trout pounce on a mouse panicking to skitter across a pool. This is Wilderness North, where the brook trout grow to be absolutely giant, and they're basically untouched. Get up here and experience it for yourself.